Hi guys, I'm Asif Ali and you're watching CG How video. Today we will make this very simple orb effect, but this looks nice and it's very easy to make. So let's quickly make it and let's dive into this tutorial. Let's start this. So because we are making this orb on a sphere, so we will just make a material for the sphere. So I'll just right click and I'll just call it orb. It will uh, look good in the material, but you can place it in the Niagara and you can just uh, tweak some settings and multiple particles you can add. So let's say you have this sphere here and let me just make this translate and let two sided if you want. So basically if you take this sphere nail and this is how it looks, you can decrease the exponent and use a power. So it will be like this cool shader cool gradient from white to black and center is properly black but you this is very simple you want to add some noise here so if you take a texture let's say in this case i'll take this aura texture uh, not this aura this one i have already tutorial if you want to learn this and just you can watch that okay so if you multiply it directly here how it will look it will be something like this looks good but instead of multiplying it here if you put it here in the exponent it will be better so if i just change the tiling maybe four and four and connect this here see but this showing me the inward pattern of this so i will just add one minus here so it will show you the exact texture then you can increase this here and it looks really cool. Cool. So maybe even more, maybe or maybe this much. You can add panel if you want, and you if you want like all direction movement, you can just take this. Take this function normal from height. Open this, double click, copy this, close this, paste this here, and delete this. For this. You need to make your texture uh, object then connect this here if i preview this texture will move in all direction see i need to add a power here so you can see properly so now it's moving in all direction so basically if you use this thing so i'll just use texture coordinate here and i'll just delete this and i'll just take the one channel from here not all and rest will be same so now see how it looks it looks magical and i think it should be two or two or maybe i'll use one one because it's duplicating this multiple times now it looks really cool maybe just three okay so you can now take two powers and make this one maybe 10 so it will be just for the edges maybe 20 it depends on you then you can multiply on a, with a higher value maybe 20 so it will be very bright on the edge and then you can add this back here so you will be you will have bright edge and then this one and i think this one i will make this more darker maybe 0.3 and this one less brighter maybe 10 so there will be a balance Point, uh, 0.5 okay now you can see that edge and this thing looks already good i will not do anything much here just one more thing i'll do uh, let's say you have the you want to add two colors or three colors you can just take uh, let's say i take three color blend and see how it looks with three colors depending on black gray and white so it's giving me this thing the red part i want black so it should be transparent and then we have blue and the uh, green so blue maybe i'll just take this one maybe bluish and green maybe purplish maybe this one We can reduce this value maybe five. Now 
like this or you can just take this ramp node and just connect this here and if I now preview this ramp it will give you that black and white thing but you can make this black here then I want blue here then in between I want purple now you can move this slider to close to blue or here so it will tweak the settings okay like this so it's fading it properly now I want to add something more here I'll just find here in my here star I'll just take this star texture which is just dots so I'll just here and I'll just copy this and make this again an object and let's see I will just if I preview it's just dots randomly moving I will add it here before ramp so it's just dots here and I want to make that dots brighter so we will just multiply it maybe 5 so when it will be brighter dots will be blue because blue is taking the bright color like if I take this 20 these are now blue cool I'll just reduce the speed here maybe just 0.2 I don't want that panning too fast like this cool now I'll just take the particle color and multiply this whole thing if I want to control and then I'll multiply this with the alpha and I'll just save this what is the error okay so this error is just for this node so I'll just take RGB here not all save. so I'll just take this Nigra and Minimal and I just want particle and that should, should spawn just once so self once then take the burst to spawn one particle go here particle state turn this off so your particle will never die then I'll delete this and take the mesh of course and static mesh sphere I'll take this sphere and then this material all right and that's all let it compile and this is how it looks you can duplicate this multiple times if you want i'll just change the size make it bigger like this it's very simple it looks good you can add internal particle if you want so for that I'll just take the new emitter and maybe fountain and I don't need this velocity no gravity size of a sphere maybe this big and make this fade in fade out particle size maybe just two and one the color of course random not this uh, random range I'll take the blue and the purple you can just add some curl noise if you want animate this also so you have some particles also inside and then you can add a glow in the center if you want so what I'll do actually I'll take something that is smoky so I'll just search a material called smoke and I'll just take this one this is actually uh, this is edit can I have one additive let me search that okay so I'll just make the star so this is the basic material and it has this 
4 by 4 smock pattern sub UV. So this is translucent. So I will just make an instance and open this. And here I'll just make it additive. Save. Saving. So let me know in the comment uh, if you can create this, if you have this, or if you want a tutorial on this. So I'll just browse this. And inside the Niagara, should not crash. So now here, I'll just duplicate this fountain. And I don't need this fair location. And I don't need this much of particle, maybe 5. No curl noise. And size maybe 150. Then I'll use that material here. This is 4 by 4 sub UV, so for 4. I'll take animation here make this uh, random and use sprite render so you can see how it looks cool then you can just duplicate this one more time increase the size maybe 500 or 300 actually 300 and 100 and i'll just uh, decrease the alpha so it will be just like a glow Cool. cool. So I hope that's it. I hope this looks cool. Thanks for watching. Keep learning and bye bye.